Hello, this is Trisha from Sandian Auto, and today I have a St. Vincent de Paul and Value Village, or Savers, as it's known in the rest of the country, um, haul video. Um, it's not too big, but I ended up getting some really cool things at, um, at St. Vincent that I'm going to spend just a little more time on. Um, so I'm going to uh, start just by going through some of the things, but I'm going to start off with a clown alert. Uh, so if you don't like clowns, um, turn away because I'm going to show them first. And so here we go. Really cute little, this is just a figurine and he's got a cloth hat and yarn for hair. Here is the back. You can see there is just a little bit of paint loss there, but um, I thought he was really cool. And there's a second one that matches him. Also with the uh, blue pants. Um, not marked on the bottom that I can see, but I'm going to say again, newer because of the yarn hair and felt, but, um, but probably what, 70s on these? is what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna put the clowns away. There we go, all clear for anybody who did not wanna look, look at the clowns. And I did forget to say that all of these items um, will start to be incorporated into my live sales, which are Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern, uh, 1 p.m. Pacific, and Saturday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Um, I have this beautiful tin. This um, has a Best Buy date of 1999, so it is over 20 years old. And it's got all these fun little classical graphics on it. Take this one. Um, this I'm going to, it's in a little bag, which my store frequently does with um, kind of the littles that are around. Ooh, can I get this out? And, oh, I see. Oh, this is cool. So this says Kenya. So a little souvenir piece made of some kind of a metal to make, to look like copper. Not really going to say it's copper, but we've got a lion, an elephant, some kind of an ox, and, oh, I see, like a cheetah. And then the back is hmm, some kind of a material. I'm not quite sure, but gentle if it was hanging up on the wall. So that's kind of cool. And I've got oh, another little baggie. Let me get in here. Now, because it's in the baggie, I was not able to check if all of the dominoes pieces are in here, but it does at least tell me there should be 55 pieces. And this isn't old because it has a barcode, but um, dominoes are always fun to have around. And, oh, I better put it over here. And then there's another one in here. Now, this is older. This is Dominoes by Halsum. And this is the double six. And I'm gonna open this one up. Oh yeah, so this one I thought was kind of cool because of the building. Let me try to get that on there. So we've got this cool building. And again, um, these are like molded so that all of the, the buildings are identical on all of the pieces. We'll see if I can get that. Even though they are kind of a wood tone, they're definitely some kind of like a resin or something that is molded. And let's see, it does say um, Chicago, what, Chicago 16, Illinois. So it's old enough that they are using the two-digit um, zip code is what it looks like there where it says Chicago. And I think that's a 15 or a 16 Illinois, and then this is a play school. 
We got a Christmas tin. This is made in USA, a uh, potpourri press. But we've got these cute little pictures of Santa. So with uh, Christmas in July um, coming up, I do have a lot of Christmas. So this will be a fun addition. And um, this item also, which is this fantastic giant goblet, beautiful frosted glass. Merry Christmas on that. And it is marked um, Tierra 84 right there. But as you can see, this is large. But wouldn't that be beautiful with some fairy lights in there? Oh, man, I think that would be gorgeous. Um, oh, yeah, this is for Easter, but I could not pass this up. Pancake mold for Easter. So we've got the chick the bunny and the duck. And this was William Sonoma, 2003. And here they are, they are large. Look how big those are. Those are some big pancakes. And there's the, I guess that, oh, that's the chick. That was the duck. And then here is the bunny, but these are big pancakes. And then it does come with a recipe, but uh, yeah, not just for Easter. That's good all year round. But yeah, I was really surprised at how, let's see, I'll put that there, how big those are. And oh, I got one more item in here. Oh, pretty little print. Um, or is this a print? Let me find. I think I was looking at this in the store, and I think this is stitched. Now, this could be machine stitched because of the way it looks, but um, like a um, embroidery machine that can do all those patterns. But isn't that pretty bird? Oh, I love that. And then it comes, it's nailed in to this frame. And then it has this nice little stand or you can hang it. It's got hooks both ways for hanging. And I had to pick up this Afghan because of the beautiful granny squares on it. So we've got the white, the beautiful aqua blue, green and orange. And this thing is big, although I have not measured it. It is big and it is heavy. Oh my goodness. But you can see that's just, that's just a fourth of it. So this is a beast and this is a fantastic Afghan. Oh my goodness. Let's see. I'm going to put that whew, down there. <laughs> that's going to be a, a bugger to... I'm not sure I'm going to be able to wash that in a washing machine, but we will see. So the next thing and the last thing and what I'm going to spend kind of the most time on is a bunch of sheet music. So I'll show this. Now, I did kind of go through it a little bit because there is some really, really old stuff in here. And I've kind of got things to where they're chronologically newer to older. Um, so the first one, Blue Sky Waltz, is it? Look at her dress. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. And this is from, um, oh, 1948. It was originally published in 44, but 48. But that is, that is gorgeous for framing for the blue in there. Then we're going to go back to the 20s with this one, honey. Look how cute she is in the roses. And then um, this one is 19, 20, five, six, seven, 28. And it also comes with this blue Hawaii. And look at her. And then on the back, of course, they've got these other great ads. Love those. Then this one, <laughs> 
This one just cracks me up. This is from 1919 and it is the alcoholic blues. And we've got the owl who uh, looks like he's seen some better days on the moon with the little cat up here. Now these are in, I'm going to say little rough shape. They're older. This one's in two pieces, but it does have all the music for the alcoholic blues. Now this one, I'm going to open this up and double check the date. So this one is 1916 and it is pretty baby. Look at her. My goodness. And again, it is in kind of rough condition, but um, considering its age, oh, this is just so fantastic. Then, oh, this is a bigger one here. This goes back to uh, 1915. I didn't raise my Ford to be a Jitney. <laughs> Such a funny name, <laughs> title for a car and, or for a song. And then we've got the other music on the back. Oh. Okay, this one is, I think, 1912. In the Evening Shadows Waltz with all of these. I think those are Lily of the Valleys. But isn't she something? Now, a lot of these are Canadian by the A. Cox and Company out of Toronto. Here is Irish Airs, Gems of Aaron Waltz. And this one is dated 1909. I'll see that there. But isn't she pretty? And this one is, I'm going to say Arawana. And it is, um, well, it comes, it's really interesting because it comes with this music, but the song Arawana doesn't start until 19, or it doesn't start until page three, and it was 1906. And it's called here, An Irish Indian Matrimonial Venture, which I guess is why we have this interesting cover picture. And, and this one, A Trip to the Moon, this one is from 1906. And I think this is the last one that is dated. So I believe the others that I'm going to show are older than 1906. Um, because they, for the most, well, this one, Maybe these two. Well, I don't know. A lot of them are that A. Cox and Company, and the others I'm just not quite sure. Um, but again, I could not find a date on these. So here is The Preacher and the Bear. And so oh, there's the bear. <laughs> And then it just kind of starts. Oh, no, this one does have a date. 19, I think, oh, this one's 1904. Maybe this one is the last one with a date. I think that is 190 or 1905. No, 1904 here. That one, I think, says 1905. But again, 
these are not in pristine condition. They do have rough edges on them because they are paper and they are very old. Um, this one is Tickled to Death, Why We Smile, A Ragtime March and Two-Step. And again, there is nothing on here to date it. And um, again, the pages and everything are a little rough, but uh, yeah. So this one is a Cox and Company. And I did look them up real quick um, to see that they were doing um, music from 1892 to 1931. So some of these could go back to, I'm going to say 1892. I have no idea. Here is a Narcissus. Beautiful cover. And this one, again, doesn't show anything on it. So I'm thinking, again, it's older than 1904 when they started putting, when the last one I could find with the dates. Um, this one is really funny. <laughs> it's called Live Wires Rag. And you can see all the electricity and these guys losing their step. <laughs> That's a fun one. And again, it just kind of starts. And this one is played not too fast. <laughs> I have a flower song, beautiful cover on this. Now these are um, black and white, but still gorgeous cover on that one. And this one again is a Cox and Company, as was the other one. Um, this one I think is a little more advanced because I don't play piano, but holy cow, I would be um, a little scared to play that. And then we have My Rainbow Waltz, which we've got this really neat um, illustration here of them taking a little canoe trip. And then we've got this little kid on the bottom. I don't quite understand that one. And what he has to do with the Rainbow Waltz. Um, but again, here is the inside, no marking on it. And, um, well, this one is not um, the, um, that company, that Canadian company. And then the last one I'm going to show, here is Butterfly Dance. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at her with the harp and those butterfly wings. Oh my goodness. And then again, it's got some age to it, um, but nothing on the bottom there. But uh, yeah, so I just thought I would take a little time with those um, sheet music just because they are um, really old and really unique and had such cool uh, covers on them that I thought I would spend just a little extra time during this haul to kind of show them off um, because uh, I just thought that they were just kind of exceptional. So again, all of these items will start being incorporated. Maybe the Christmas ones you'll see um, a little more in July. Uh, where I will probably end up having several or at least partly themed um, Christmas in July uh, sales. Maybe I'll do some like half and half um, to try to get through um, some of this stuff. And again, I might hold some stuff over till uh, we get closer to actual Christmas, but um, but Christmas in July is so much fun that, uh, that I think that... Um, a lot of these items will be great additions for that. So again, thank you so much for watching. And uh, please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. And um, yeah, again, all of these items will again start being incorporated. 
uh, Saturdays at 10 p.m. Eastern and Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern into my live sales. So I hope to see you at my live sales and uh, take care and I'll see you next time.